Look at my skin. Ooh! Thank you. Proper response. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to another channel here on my video. What a disaster I am. You're the best. Yeah! <laughs> what was I saying? Hey guys, and welcome to a very last minute tutorial. So today I am actually about to hop in the car and we are headed down to Florida because my entire family is going on a vacation. It's actually supposed to be storming the whole time that we're there. So I'm anticipating it being more of like a staycation, like stay in the condo, that kind. And as hard as I tried to be prepared and have videos ready to go so that I wasn't doing exactly this right here, uh, right now, um, you know, as the saying goes, you gotta make a lot of bad art to make any good art. And unfortunately for me, I have washed off three bad art looks today. So I'm a little crunched for time and also this eye is stained pink probably for the next like four days because I washed off two pink looks today. I was really trying to get a pride look done so that I could have that up while I was gone next week in celebration of pride. Um, however, they, those are the ones that didn't turn out. That was the bad art that I was making this morning. So I will have to just table it for now and reconvene when I get back. But for today's tutorial, I thought it would be fun if we played with a color combination that I have seen a lot, not only on Instagram, but also here on YouTube. It's called Blorange, and it is, as you probably could tell, um, blue and orange. Look. <laughs> so this P. Louise base usually matches my skin tone with this fake tan. Look at her. She looks crazy. I am crazy. But anyways, I thought it would be really fun to play with that color combination, and you know, if it doesn't turn out, it's fine, because I'm just going to be sitting in a car for the next six hours. So... <laughs> I've already got my base done. I threw some tinted brow gel here into my caterpillars, just so you could see them as I emote. And now we're gonna jump into the actual like tutorial portion of this tutorial. We're gonna first go in with a fluffy brush and then for today's tutorial, because we are going to be playing with that blue and orange color scheme, I primarily, whoa. I'm the best. Best. Um, so today we're gonna be using the Morphe 3503 because it's got a lot of really pretty like warm, like definitely like summer and fall vibes up in here. I want to use this uh, ColourPop Single Shadow, which is the Super Shock, uh, Super Shock, Super Shock Shadow. So like those are kind of like the tones that we're going for. And then as far as the blue, I'm gonna use one of the Sephora Jumbo Eye Pencils because I love the formula, they're nice and creamy, and that one in particular is like a wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. So like really packs a punch. It's a woo! So the first thing that we're gonna do is pick up this like peachy, almost got like a little bit of like yellow in its undertone color. And we are going to stamp it right here in our transition area, which is hitting the top of the crease. And then as it loses product, as the brush loses product, we're gonna start sweeping back and forth and dragging upwards. I'm gonna pick up just a pinch more of that same like warm color and also hit this bone color right here in the top corner of the palette. And I am going to tap those right here on the inner corner and drag that up higher than I usually would, like almost all the way to that brow bone. Now I'm gonna make this like rather quick and easy. You see how like beautiful this, it's like a golden orange. Honestly, it just looks like glittery pumpkin filling. You know, like this would make a great pie. But um, in order to pack this on, I'm actually just going to be using my finger because why not? And because it's like super creamy and very satisfying. It feels, it feels like silk. And we are going to be tapping that right here in the center and then kind of swiping it sideways and dragging up. And then the same thing that we do when we use like a brush as we lose product and start to sweep it up higher, that's kind of what we're doing here as well. So I'm concentrating that color as close as possible to that lower lash line really packing it on for vibrancy and then starting to gradually flick upwards so that you can see some of the glitter, some of the shimmer is like transferring up a little bit higher, but 
the majority of like the pop or the, like the thing that draws your attention is still very much concentrated down here closer to the lid. It is giving me some like major fall vibes though. Maybe by like throwing in that blue, it'll be more of like a summertime. I'm gonna pick up another fluffy brush. This one is a little bit like more concentrated and um, I'm gonna pick up this brown color right here that has like quite a bit of warmth in it. Um, it's not quite on like the orangey scale, but I do think that it'll complement the look. I think it'll complement the look because it's deeper than that initial tone that we chose, but it's not like an overpowering color to where it's going to like outshine this like orangey color that we have here. I think that's really pretty. You guys know that I love a halo eye, especially if I'm in a hurry, simply because it is one of the easiest. Also, I think it's a great way to look like as put together and as glam as possible in like the shortest amount of time. I also have a super in-depth halo eye tutorial for those of you who would be interested in that here on my channel. It's in the Makeup Basics playlist. I'm not smoking this eye look out as far as I traditionally do, and so for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and like tight line under here with some eyeshadow and then go back and add a little bit more to the outer skirts, like give it a little bit of like a wham bam, thank you ma'am kind of moment. So what's nice about this brush is that actually dual ended. So I'm going to take this side of it, which is nice and flat, like a flat packing brush. I'm going to pick up that same initial shade that we did. I'm going to turn my brush sideways like so, so that it's not at its like full width like this, but it's not quite on like a point either, somewhere like halfway in. So I have a little bit more control over what I am doing. And I'm going to start by first packing that shade right here on the very outer corner of that lower lash line, which is also like kissing that top corner right there. I don't know if you guys can see. Ooh, you see how it's like I'm packing it right here. And from there, I'm going to start dragging down that deeper color that we used here in the inner and outer corner. And now I am going straight, like flat in like so. And I'm gonna smack that right here and begin smoking it out. I'm gonna hit the inner corner and as it loses product then I'm gonna drag towards the center in the same way that over here I started on the very outer corner and as it lost product I dragged it inwards. So in the same way that we have the lightest or brightest color concentrated right here in the center on the very top lid, we're also going to be doing something similar down here on this lower lash line. So you saw that I would take this brush and start with that deeper color and start smoking it out right here on the outer edge. And then as I lost product, I was sweeping it a little bit more towards the center. Same thing on that inner corner. You start with like a packing or a smudging motion in tight motions like so. And as it loses product, you then begin to drag it towards the center. In that way, that deepness doesn't quite connect right here under the lowest part of that like lash line and it kind of like mimics what's going on up here with the lightest or brightest being focused in the center also having like a little bit of a halo moment down here it's incredibly subtle but i love that the devil is in the details so that is why we did that I'm picking up that fluffy brush again, and like I mentioned earlier, I didn't want this smoked out too far, but now that we have like a good understanding of where all of that deepness lives over here in the outer corner of our eye, the tiniest little bit on the point of the brush of that initial like orangey shade, and I'm gonna tap right here on the outer corner and use a soft circular motion to kind of sweep that out until I like the way that the fade looks, and from there, I'm gonna drag it down just a hair. Okay, and now this look needs that pop of blue. So for this, we're gonna be using the Sephora Waterproof, I think they're just called like, yeah, Colorful Shadow and Liner. No, no like more specific name than that. But this is in the color My Boyfriend's Jeans, which is number 39. 15 minutes and count. I'm not gonna throw on lashes with this look because ain't nobody got time for that. I'm gonna pick up that same like smudgy brush as earlier. You guys know I love to pop my highlight right here on that inner corner because like if we gonna glow, we gonna glow. Mm. It just like draws your attention in, does it not? I'm gonna line my lips just so that they um exist. That of course was my new favorite gloss, which is the Marc Jacobs Work It Enamored Lip Lacquer. Lick lacquer. Lick lacquer. Did all this makeup. Refused to do my hair. My bangs and I are not friends today. 
All right, you guys, that is going to be it for today's look. I hope you enjoy this blonde. I don't like that word. I think it sounds weird. But I do know that this is a color combination that has been trending across Instagram as well as YouTube here for a while. And this is the first time that I've ever done anything quite like this here on my channel. I do often like to pop that same like electric blue liner that I have on here with um, my yellow eyeshadow because I think that that's a really pretty color combination. And I guess this isn't like a far cry from that, which is something that I reach for all the time. But there's something to be said about having like that like rich orangey warmth. Anyways, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I do hope that you enjoyed it and that you find this tutorial useful. Let me know down in the comments below if this is a color combination that you would be interested in trying. And if so, like now here in the summertime, or do you see this more as like a fall vibe? Give me your thoughts, feels, and if you don't like this color combination, what is your favorite color combination to wear? I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for checking out this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.